So I'm gonna build an entire rhododendron bed from scratch and you guys are gonna watch me do it. So let's take a look at this real quick. This is all the rhododendrons that my wife potted up just maybe a couple weeks ago into five gallon pots and everything is looking beautiful, but we had a whole bunch of leftover rhododendrons and some of them are varieties that I actually don't have planted out on the property yet, like Mindy's Love. Look at the size of those buds. Anyway, we've got to get these guys planted out and clean out this hoop house, make more room for other things. We're going to make it happen right now. And all of these roadies are getting put into one bed. So here's the area we're looking at. It's right along the fence line between us and the neighbors. But eventually I'm going to have some green giants going all along that fence line. And then in front of this stump, we're going to have a rhododendron bed with all those varieties packed in there. It's a perfect spot because it's not by any big trees that have roots that are just going to suck that ground dry. But there is a big fir tree probably 30 feet back behind it. And it shades this area beautifully perfect for rhododendrons through the hottest part of the day. Let's get the tractor and get after it. Right, so it's been a little while but I got out here and I raked everything out real good all those piles that we had laid out and then the girls and I came out and just kind of set out all the different varieties of roadies that we wanted to put in this little landscape feature and now it's going to be time to grab the tractor because in the past I've always dug these things by hand but I've got a tractor with a post hole logger and we got a lot of holes to dig I might as well put that thing to good use look at this real quick pomegranate splash this is my oldest daughter's favorite and that one is definitely going in this garden <laughs> Those were about the easiest holes I have ever dug for plants. And I mean, heck, Shelly done most of the work. Boy, that went quick, man. Those suckers were easy to dig with that tractor. We have always dug everything by hand up into this point. Um, everything you see in our landscape on all those landscape videos I've done, we've done by hand. But this made things just absolutely fun. So now we're going to get all these guys planted up. And we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. 
All right, so as I've shown you guys in other videos, these guys are, some of them are more root bound than others, but I just take my pruners here and just score them real good. And along the sides, in several places, boy, this one's really root bound. Probably should have got up potted last year, but it didn't. And that's good enough. For rhododendrons, you don't have to tease all those roots out. So I purposefully mixed up the wood chips with the soil. And I know that over time, in the beginning, these wood chips are gonna suck the nitrogen out of the soil, but I'm not worried about that. I just wanted to get a good mixture of soil and wood chips. What I'm gonna do is fertilize these guys with a slow release fertilizer, and then that's gonna help offset any nitrogen robbing from the wood chips here. When the morning within a few years all those wood chips are going to break down and they'll be feeding the soil Alright, here we are all finished up, everything's planted, and we're ready to get some fertilizer on here and bark this bed. Alright, it's September 25th, we've gone through the whole summer here without doing anything new to this, except I dumped some grass clippings on it, but my tractor was busted, I've had to spend some time working on it, and then my blue tractor, the PTO, got busted on that, and I'm finally able to get out here and dump some piles here. Now I could have done all this by wheelbarrow, and I've done that plenty in the past, but it's a lot of work, it's very time consuming, and I knew if I could just get this girl going, I'd be in good shape. There it is guys, all finished up. A few busted tractors later, and we're back in business. And that's basically how I've done all of the rhododendron beds around here. Just like this, except this is the first time I've used that tractor to use the post hole logger to drill the holes. Most of them I've always done by hand, but it uh, sure is nice when you got equipment that's working. And that looked good. Really nice. And there's a good probably four to six inch layer of mulch around all of those rhododendrons. So come next summer, they're gonna be well protected. Lots of moisture down at those roots. I'm gonna fertilize well come spring, and this bed is just gonna take off and grow like crazy. And in a few years, we're gonna have probably five feet tall, just a nice hedge of beautiful different colors of rhododendrons in the spring. So there you go, I hope you guys enjoyed that process. It was fun, it took us all summer, but we got it done, and now we're just continuing to surround the house with more rhododendrons. Hope you guys liked this one. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.